We're here to discuss this with our usual Hidden Agenda segment is former MP Nicole Flint. Nicole, I'm going to say it. I like this law. The vandals and the troublemakers who disrupt our lives by gluing themselves to road, they're going to be hit with a very hefty penalty. That's right, Corey. Uh, not long ago, two weeks ago in South Australia, you could be a feral who glued yourself to the, uh, to the, to the road. Uh, you could deface an MP's office, uh, a, a, an office building, and you would just get a $750, $750 fine. It really wasn't worth the police's time uh, in prosecuting. And I've had that experience, you've had that experience. Now the penalty is $50,000 and up to three months in prison. So all of a sudden, the troublemakers, the ferals, the idiots who are stopping traffic, gluing themselves to footpaths, to roads. We had someone abseil off a bridge here in Adelaide two weeks ago, stop peak hour traffic for like an hour and a half, Corey, just people trying to get home, get their kids from school, all that sort of thing. They, it will not be worth their while anymore. And this has been happening for a long time. The $750 was no disincentive. But I remember when I had a bunch of rainbow warriors, including kids, Right, taken out of school by their parents, come to my Senate office then at the time, yes. uh, vandalise it, uh, litter it, uh, abuse my staff, make them feel threatened and intimidated. Would they have been included in this sort of law? Yes, because they would have been obstructing people's access to a public place. An MP and Senator's office, quite rightly, are public places. We are there to serve the public. And what happened in your, your office was terrifying. I felt so sorry for you and your staff, many of whom were women, and they, they were probably thinking, I would imagine, are they going to come through the door? Are they going to somehow pull the security screens out and do us some personal harm? I had Extinction Rebellion graffiti the entire sort of about 10 metres of window front of my electorate office and the footpath. It cost taxpayers thousands of dollars to clean it up. It cost the police time. We had to shut the office. The public could no longer access their right to see their MP. Yeah, can I tell you in my case, it was lucky that I was actually overseas at the time because um, it would have been a lot worse had I been there, I suspect. <laughs> but you're right, my staff were They might have had a very about. sad and sorry end. They, might have, they might, have, there, Corey, might have yeah. been someone else in the courts, Nicole. Yeah. We never know. Thank you for joining me. I think this is a good move by the Labor Party in South Australia, quite frankly. But the Liberals proposed the law. Oh, they did, they and did. Labor adopted it to yep. their credit and upset them union mates because this should also stop the unions from shutting down and picketing businesses. Exactly now, that's right. one to watch. Exactly right. We'll get on to that another time. Nicole Flint, thank you for joining me.